What's good everybody, it's your boy Slant, AKA Mr. Different, back with another video. And today I'm gonna teach you guys how to record inside of FS Studio and also turn on and off direct monitoring. Cause I've been getting a lot of questions about that and a lot of you guys seem to be having problems with that cause with the echo and delay. And I teach you how to also reduce that so you can actually record with effects and record it's pretty much spot on and not mess up. But before we get into that, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and SoundCloud at Mr. Different TV. Also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification because if you don't, you won't know when I drop new videos like this cause YouTube is having some problems that once again with the algorithm so make sure you hit that bell notification so you know when i drop a new video so let's go ahead and get right into it so i'm gonna show you guys how to record inside of fl studio and how to you know <clears throat> turn off direct monitoring and all that and also how to record with plugins so first off let's go ahead if the first main thing is you need to have either an audio interface or you need to have some type of usb inter, uh, microphone whatever that just depends so make sure you have that plugged up and make sure you have a microphone plugged up into it if you're using the interface and if you're using a condenser microphone make sure you have your phantom power on and yeah, that's pretty much the beginning step. So make sure you got at least that going on first. So in order to record inside like FS Studio, the way I like to do it is a bunch of ways to record inside like FS Studio. The way I like to do it is to record inside of the playlist. So I will just select some random channel. You can select any of these channels, no matter which one you pick. I'm just gonna use one because I don't really have nothing going on right now, as you see. And then right here, you got your inputs. Now you might make sure you have your <clears throat> your interface selected because if you don't have your interface selected, then you won't be able to have this. So Next, you go to wherever yours is input in. So wherever you have your microphone plugged up to. Mine's plugged up in the input one of my interface. So that's why I'm gonna click. I'm gonna select that. If you got it on two, click two. If you got three, three. Wherever you got your input set into or wherever your microphone plugged to, make sure you click that input. So I'll pick one. Out. And I'm just going to mute that track real quick and we'll get back to it. So now, <clears throat> as you can see, as I'm talking, you see there is signal going inside of FL Studio because I have input one selected and that's where my microphone is. I can just stop talking and you can see that there is signal going to it. Now, direct monitoring, how to turn that on and off because that's something I know that the bugs a lot of you guys and really plagues you. It's simple to easy to turn off. If you want to turn off direct monitoring, all you got to do is click wherever your channel is you just got to unlink it from the master channel because that is because it's basically playing the sound going in and back through the master channel back to your headphone so if you unlink that now when i unmute it now you see there's nothing there but if i link it back up you'll hear like a, a echo or a, a volume increase as you see it's a, a volume increase so there you go so that's how you turn uh direct monitoring on and off inside of fs studio super simple um yeah and also if you want to let's say you're you're using direct monitoring and you have a little bit of a delay the reason because of that is because of your buffering size now the rule of thumb is a higher buffer size like the greater the number is is great for when you're mixing and mastering because you can add a lot of effects because you're not really doing anything in real time it's giving your computer enough time to run all them effects and process them and play them back to you without having any kind of delay or glitches or anything like that if you want to record something you want to be spot on or say you want to record with effects or something like that then you want to have a low buffer size now depending on your computer and your interface is going to depend on how low your buffer can go for me i have a pretty good maxed out computer i have a decent interface right now um a rule of thumb i would say anywhere between 64 samples and i would say 128 is pretty unnoticeable maybe 256 if you want to do that for a buffer size you pretty won't get you won't get too much delay in your headphones but if you have like just an amazing delay like i'll show you an example if we actually go to my audio device and we change the delay change the buffer size now i'm going to increase the buffer size to like i say like close that There's just a huge delay and I'm kind of stumbling on myself because the the delay. Yeah. So you see, if you have a high buffer size, it's going to have a bad delay and it's going to just throw your game off and just make you record very poorly. So we're going to change that back to, let's say, I'd say anything between 64 and 128 is really good. If you can go lower, of course, you got a Thunderbolt interface, you can go all the way down to like 32 and have no problem to bring your buffer size back up so you can have more effects. Now, since we got all that set up and all going, let's go ahead and record something in here. So like I said, I usually have my set on the, on the song because I have to record inside of the, the playlist window. 
uh, if you want to, you can right click the record button and, you know, just select some things and you go enable record markers, recording, start playback, all that kind of stuff, audio, all that. I keep all that going and, you know, start same time, just stuff right there. And if you need like a countdown, this three, two, one is usually a countdown for you. So you do that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to record something real quick and show you. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, not motivated by the money, but the like, comment, subscribe, and views. And yeah, we are back in this. We're showing you guys how to record inside of FL Studio. So there we go. Now I record some FL Studio, but when I play it back, yo, what's up, everybody? Oh, you should, oh, it does play back good because it's not linked to a channel. That's good. So now if I play it back, it's gonna be super loud. So let's go ahead and link, put this in a, in a number one. Now, if I link it back to uh, input number one, you're not going to hear nothing. That's because I unlinked it from the master channel. So I put it back on the master channel and I'm just going to turn this off. This is back. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different, not motivated by the money. But the like, comment, subscribe, and views. And yeah, we are back in this. We're showing you guys how to record inside of FL Studio. So yeah, there you go. Very simple, very easy, very simple way to record inside of FS Studio. I will be going into more in-depth stuff, such as doing punch in, punch out recording and all that good stuff. But this should get you started if you want to start recording inside FS Studio. This is probably the best and easiest way to record audio inside of FS Studio. And I recommend doing it this way personally. So like I said, in the future, I will be going over more tech, uh, more special techniques and stuff like that to help you do more like comping and stuff like that. And other stuff like that in the future so if you want to know anything just let me know in the comments below and i'll try to help you i'll try to answer as many questions as i can um please subscribe to the channel if you can to help me out you know what i'm saying try and get 100k man come on everybody out. like the video if you liked it thumb it down if you're a hater leave a comment i'll try to give it to you as much as i can and that's what it is you know who it is your boy slim aka mr different not motivated by by the money <laughs> It's your boy Slant, aka Miss Different, not motivated by money, but the like, comments, crack, and views. I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoy. Start making hits like always, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.